Hi and welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over audio recording in Ignite. Ignite supports core audio interfaces on Mac, Wasapi interfaces on Windows, and also supports ASIO devices on both Mac and Windows. The first thing I'm going to do is to check that I have the right interface selected for recording. I could do that by checking my audio settings in the home view. I'm going to click here to open the home view and then click here to open the audio setup. I'm working with the new M-Audio M-Track Plus interface today, and it's already selected. I have a guitar connected to input one. We'll play a little bit of it so I can show you the input level. Great, all the other settings are perfect, so I'm just going to close this. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an audio instrument. I do that by going to the Choose tab, and I navigate over to the main category for audio. In the audio group, we have a number of presets that are grouped by instrument. These presets are different from the other instruments in that they have effects built onto them as effects presets. I'm gonna navigate over to the guitar section and I'm just gonna insert a basic patch with no effects. Once I've added this to my session, You'll see it appear here in the instruments bar, along with the other instruments that are already part of this project. There are a few different controls for these audio presets. Click the show volume slider knob to open up the slider. And I'm gonna open up the slider for a regular instrument just to show you the differences. On audio presets, you will see this little headphone icon here. This is for software monitoring. If I play my guitar now, I'm actually not going to hear anything because I need to monitor it. To hear the sound playing through Ignite, I just click this headphone and then I'll be able to hear when I play guitar. Another control that's different between the instruments is this bar down here. Just like with when we were recording MIDI instruments in a different video, Ignite waited for me to start playing before it started recording. The same thing goes for audio. Ignite has a certain threshold that's set and it's waiting to listen to audio before it starts recording. If you're recording very quiet, breathy vocals, you may want to lower this just so that you're able to capture all the nuances of your recording. To change the input threshold, just click and drag the bar to the desired level. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the effects that are in some of these presets up at the top and try to find one that's going to be appropriate for this song. I'm going to play back the song while I have input monitoring turned on so that I can hear the different patches while I'm listening to the song. As you can see, I can change the presets the same way I change instruments. I click on the preset, and then I, have, I can either create a new instrument by clicking the button here, or I can change the preset by clicking here. this clean amp will work really well. So let's go ahead and record this guitar part in. I'm going to keep the volume slider open here so I can monitor the input. And when I click the record button, I'm going to get a four beat count in, and then I'm going to hear the song that's already in the project along with the guitar part. pretty good. I just want to quickly check the audio file, so I'm going to click on the Edit tab. And I can see here that the audio is actually starting to play at bar 2, when I actually want to start at bar 1. So I'm just going to trim the beginning of this clip by clicking and dragging on the beginning of it so that it starts at bar 1. Now when I play it back, it should all sync up with the rest of the project. Just 
do a little mixing here. That sounds pretty good. That covers the basics of audio recording. We're going to go through audio editing in a separate video. There's additional information available in the user's guide, which you can access in the help menu. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.